Diablo 2 came out in 2000. Most of us were just teenagers or kids, and it really took our lives by storm. We absolutely fell in love with this game, whether it's uh, the gameplay, absolutely amazing, the itemization is probably the best that's ever existed in any type of game. So much stuff in this game was absolutely amazing, and we were really absolutely obsessed by it, played it a ton for years and years and years even, and as the years went by, well, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. The graphics, maybe they started to get a little bit stale. They started to lag behind the more modern games, not look as good. But the game, still absolutely amazing. Well, there started to be rumors year after year after year that there was going to be a Diablo 2 remake or a remaster. But every year these rumors would come up and then you wouldn't hear anything about it ever again. It would just never happen. So I never thought there would actually be a Diablo 2 remake. That is until... Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now this thing was done absolutely amazing by Vicarious Visions in my opinion. I'm really happy with how Diablo 2 Resurrected turned out. But because, like myself, a ton of people never thought it would happen, there was actually a ton of different Diablo 2 projects out there, whether it's just from uh, complete remakes in new graphics engines just to make the game look better, or there was even first person versions of Diablo 2 that were started to be worked on by like fans of the franchise. Could you imagine how crazy insane it looked to see like the Diablo 2 universe, but in a game like one of the Elder Scrolls games, like in Skyrim? Well, actually, there's somebody working on that. And I'm going to show you exactly what that stuff looked like today in this video. Now to start this off is with a quick clip of a recreation of the Rogue Encampment in Act 1. Now I don't believe any of this was actually playable in any form here, but it is a very interesting and I think a very well done recreation of this Rogue Encampment here. Now I believe this would be the graphical uh, comparison of approximately like Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Now I'm going to compare a lot of these, uh, especially the first person ones, to the Elder Scrolls games because I have a lot of experience with those. And now, even though these aren't a modern day graphics exactly, I do find it very interesting. And I really love actually seeing the Rogue Encampment or part of Diablo 2 here in a first person type of view. I honestly, it just looks absolutely amazing to me. Now, even though this particular clip here, not interactive, wait till we jump into the next one. It is another recreation of the Rogue Encampment in Act 1. But this one right here in first person view, like it says, is even better graphics, maybe around the era of Skyrim type of graphics. And also, uh, it looks as though you could actually, the person who made this actually walk around in first person view and kind of uh, look around at different aspects of the game here. Now, in my opinion, these graphics definitely look way better than the last. It's probably a different generation of the Unreal Engine. The biggest and most notable there you can see is the fire. Um, I think they should do a little bit to uh, step up Charcy here. I don't really remember Charcy looking like that, but that's kind of more of a personal preference on making everything look as accurate as possible. But see even the, the cow and the chicken and uh, just pretty much everything, the shadows, and this is obviously a nighttime shot. It just all looks really well done, even better than the last clip. And the last clip I believe was impressive. This one is even more so impressive. Like I said, with the more modern Unreal Engine here. Now here we jump into the part where they're actually like walking and moving around the rogue encampment. And man, could you just imagine if they put together a full fledged first person like Diablo 2 game? See over here, look at the waypoint. Uh, that looks pretty fancy. I love the blue flames and just the way the waypoint looks uh, in its entirety. I really do like here's the good old campfire right there with the stash there just in the background. It's incredibly cool looking in my opinion. Now, as far as this particular one got done was this actual like ability to move around in this rogue cam and it's not a full-fledged game or anything you're not going out slapping down demons and picking up those juicy nasty drops or anything like that but uh this still is impressive for just kind of a fan project it looks really good and i really do commend the uh, creator of this it's also neat too to see kind of at the end of the video uh, a little more of like the UI of, uh, you know, some of the more stuff of when they created it. And, you know, you can add move around objects and things along those lines. Now that we did the Act 1 Rogue encampment, I mean, the most logical choice. Let's move on to this other project here done in 
Unreal Engine 4, it says right there at the beginning of the clip. And this is the Act 2 Lutgelane City. Once again, uh, it's this really awesome seeing this rendered out in uh, 3D here. This once again is one that is just kind of a static video of a trailer of what they created here, the city. But it looks pretty dang cool. There is, of course, one of the town portals. Uh, and once again, this is, I would put it somewhere. It's hard to tell being in a desert, but maybe somewhere between the Morrowind and Oblivion uh, era of graphics. I believe I looked it up and actually Oblivion was Unreal Engine 5. So maybe we'll put this more around the Morrowind time period, but still each and every one of these cities and different parts of the game rendered out in first person is so incredibly interesting to me. Always having that, you know, 2D top down type of view, but then seeing the landscape, seeing the cities rendered out, uh, done very well, a very great job by the people that did create these uh, Unreal Engine versions of this city. So I really, once again, I do want to commend the people for their uh, work here. Most of this, like I said, was just uh, different types of fan creations. But man, when we get around to the palace over there, it looks absolutely amazing. And you know, you fly around the whole city here. Now we're obviously going along with the order that things appear in the game is what I decided to do for this video. So it's incredibly awesome. Look at this arcane sanctuary. This is where you normally would find the summoner kind of towards the end of act two. Now this uh, platform where the summoner would be along with the waypoint, the book, it's got the emblems up there. It looks absolutely amazing. This is in one of the newer Unreal engines. So this is uh, pretty much top of the line. And the guy that did this obviously did an amazing job. And also super interesting is right here. He actually, at the end of this uh, video, he shows you exactly how he built the entire thing. And it is in uh, incredibly sped up time. But realistically, I mean, this guy is incredibly talented and very good. It doesn't take him that long, kind of in my opinion, to put this one section together. And with this newer Unreal Engine, it looks absolutely amazing. And kind of towards the end as well, too, you kind of see him finagling around with different lights, moving them where they go. And because the way the Unreal Engine works and the way you build this stuff up, then it casts these absolutely amazing shadows from the different places, from the fire, from the different emblems and things like that. Uh, so once again, like I said about all of them, I, I, maybe I'm a broken record here, but I am incredibly impressed by a lot of these different fan arts uh, and just how good they do look in these Unreal Engines. Now up next, we're moving on from Act 2 and we're actually jumping into Act 3. You see right there, the cursed docks done in the Unreal Engine. Now, they really do, once we jump into it, they're showing the old artwork, do a great job of capturing, you know, just the feel and the look of that dark and just dreary swamp. You see a little bit of sprinkle, a little rain coming down. The water effects obviously look good. It is Unreal Engine. And once again, this looks, I would put it around a similar time frame or similar graphical capabilities of the first Rogan cam and clip. So I'm going to call it maybe around the Oblivion era once again. So these all these clips are from different time periods and time frames and a lot of them, you know, different Unreal engines. But once again, it's just really awesome seeing this stuff rendered out kind of in the, you know, in 3D in more of like a first person type of view instead of that whole top down look you can really fly around and see different angles of different buildings of different structures of different areas than you normally could have ever in diablo 2 or even in diablo 2 resurrected uh, d2r is an amazing game and I, I think it looks really dang good but i just feel like there's something special in seeing everything in 3d and like i said being able to look at everything in all of the different angles so once again very well done here by uh, tony there you've seen the guy's name right at the beginning who uh, made this particular fan art, the 3D rendering of the Act 3 town. Up next, as you can see, is the Durance of Hate. And this could be the most impressive one out of them all. Now, just looking at how spectacular the graphics are on this particular one, uh, you're gonna understand why I said that. That gory pit there, oof, man. But this stuff uh, is really, really, really impressive looking what i do love about this guy's particular uh, video he did for this section is he actually has a one-to-one -one comparison like exactly from the old school diablo he's got diablo 2 resurrected and then he compares it to his uh, version of it right here and what's also awesome make sure you stick around check this entire one out because at the end of it he actually has a playable like running running around anyways demo 
of this particular section now you can't fight mephisto you're not going to be finding shakos and finding good things like that but you can actually run around with your with a character in this particular section to get a good look at really every little graphical aspect of it now this is oh man just the bones flying around in that tornado right there looking at the portal that would eventually take you on to act four really spectacular job done once again here now we'll jump into the part i mentioned earlier where he compares the literal exact one to one to one between diablo 2 diablo 2 resurrected and then his rendering of it in the uh, i believe the newest unreal engine that like the public has access to anyways and it really does look amazing the shadowing and just the overall textures there is one thing that in my opinion it's not an attack on anything that the creator did but i believe i see this in every single modern game that uses these unreal engines everything looks a little bit hazier it is so hazy maybe misty is the correct correct word that everything almost looks a little washed out on the screen so in certain instances and some things just in my opinion i almost think diablo 2 resurrected in a way looks better because everything looks a little more crisp even if that is technically probably a little less realistic but this is just my take on it. And this guy is obviously absolutely amazingly talented to be able to do all this and put it together. So really, bravo, sir. And this honestly is probably the most impressive part. It's a sped up section, but he is actually running around physically with a character in this area. And it says link in the description. I will link to this guy's video so you can go, go over his video, go in his description of his video, and you can get a link if you actually want to download and try this out yourself. I personally have not done so yet, but man, after seeing this, I really want to. And now, since we are moving through the game, here is a project done where it is actually Act 4. Now, this one, I don't know that it's necessarily in the Unreal Engine per se. This particular project, in my opinion, has kind of the appearance sort of of like World of Warcraft, you know, a WoW type of look to it. Not necessarily my particular favorite, whatever, but it is incredibly interesting and impressive. It's not just like a rendered out flying around type of video. He literally has like his example dude here, just like the generic character running around in the atmosphere, actually running up the river flames and marching into the chaos sanctuary. Now there were not any monsters in there at this point, but here we are actually in the town part of act four and he's running out onto what this would be called the outer steps here. And here it looks incredibly interesting because he actually has some monsters like characters out here. You can see it is not completely finished. This is just a work in progress right now. And you see they don't really react to him running by. But you can see he has the kind of the full uh, setup of the environment here. So very impressive. Very well done. And you know what is even more impressive? This same person continued this project to got to a point where it's essentially playable now it is not the full-fledged game you know in this particular trailer put together really an impressive trailer to be perfectly honest there isn't actually like items falling and you don't see like full-fledged uh combat but you do see the character actually attacking monsters monsters like aggroing noticing the character and then attacking and things like that you see the damage numbers come up from you attacking so uh, even to get it to this point i think is incredibly impressive definitely there's not even any remote chance in the history of my entire lifetime will i ever be knowledgeable or impressive enough to create uh something uh you know of this quality so yeah really got to say uh good job on this particular one and yeah you see the attacks i wasn't a wow player but that attack looks incredibly like a attack i've seen in some wow videos and stuff up uh, feel free in the comments to let me know uh, if that is accurate. And then I do love this part at the end, running out onto the star where Diablo would spawn, you know, in the normal game. And we'll wrap this particular clip up with a shot, a top-down view of the Act 4 town. And for the 35th time, I just, I gotta say one more time how impressed I am by these different fan projects, some of them even being playable. It really is impressive, really is amazing. And my favorites are definitely the ones where you're in first person, walking around, seeing the towns, seeing the game, seeing the landscapes in a completely different style than that top-down camera in regular Diablo 2. So I'm going to try to put a link in the description to each one of these original videos, some of them actually having downloadable demos that you could play and try out at home. So don't forget to hit the like button before you go, fellas. Peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video.